Every year, people take it upon themselves to raise the bar of what's humanly possible and do some of the craziest things imaginable. Some put their all into it, while others risk it all to be crowned the new Guinness World Record holders. In any case, when a new record appears, it instantly makes headlines. And for good reason. Over the years, the books have gotten thicker as the records have gotten more and more extreme. And today, I've compiled some of the most insane world records ever performed by man. If you were feeling a little low on motivation, Motivation, stick around till the end and I guarantee you'll feel like you can conquer the world. But before we begin, what record would you be the holder of? Let me know down in the comments. I'll give you a second. Ready? Well then, let's get it on! Dragon Challenge the Tiananmen Mountain in China is shrouded in legend and mysticism. It's lined with one of the most dizzying roads on the planet, winding through 99 incredibly sharp curves before coming to 999 steps leading up to what's known as Heaven's Gate, a peak so high it's covered in clouds. However, in 2018, as part of an incredible marketing campaign to show off the astounding handling their new sport model had, Range Rover set out to set a world record time for conquering Tiananmen Mountain and Heaven's gate with an added twist that they were told over and over was completely impossible. They were going to drive up the 999 steps. Now, driving up steps on its own sounds like an insane task, but add the fact that these steps are at an incredibly steep 45 degree angle and you'll start to understand why Range Rover were told that this was impossible. Of course, in the end, they managed to prove all the naysayers wrong and their stunt driver managed to clear what they're now calling the Dragon Challenge, maneuvering the entire mountain, steps included, in an unbelievably quick 22 minutes, 41 seconds. That's 99 cliffside turns, 999 super steep steps, and one very head-to-top entry in the Guinness World Record book. Highest Free Solo Slackline Slacklining has rapidly become both a fun activity to watch your friends fail at at parties and an extreme sport amassing adrenaline junkies millions of views online. And just like any other extreme sport, adventurous thrill seekers keep on upping the ante to prove their skills. Probably one of the most insane types of slacklining is what's known as free solo by the community, meaning the slackliner is freely walking with no safety harness, solo, or by themselves across the slackline. Friday Kuhn was an extreme mountain climber who got introduced to slacklining in 2009. Over the years, he pushed himself harder and harder to do longer and higher free solo runs, until on August 24, 2016, when he partnered up with the Left Coast Media to film a documentary about his and the world's most insane slacklining feat yet. Friday and the team set up a 72 meter long line, suspended 400 meters in the air above an enormous gorge. During the deadly feat, he managed to keep his cool and make the stunt look like a casual walk in the park, setting the record for highest free solo of all time, while also having an incredible view. Hopefully he just didn't look down. Extreme Free Solo Climbing it's hard to imagine a more extreme individual than Alex Honnold. Honnold is what's known in the world of mountain climbing as a free solo climber, meaning he climbs mountains with no safety equipment or harness, just his own hands and feet. One of the most impressive of the many, many records Honnold holds, likely due in part to there not being many people insane enough to even attempt to top him, is for free soloing El Capitan in California, the largest granite monolith in the world. On June 3rd, 2017, Honnold became the first person to ever free climb the 7,500 foot mountain, and he holds the record to this day. Congratulations, Alex, you're a braver man than I am. Juggling Across the Sahara Remember that kid who would always show off that trick with a soccer ball he learned? <laughs> now imagine that kid never grew up and just kept learning more and more tricks and you've pretty much got freestyle soccer star John Farnworth. In 2019, the English sports entertainer teamed up with GoPro to add a ranking to his already pretty respectable list of world records, including most around the world's in a minute. However, for this stunt, GoPro wanted to seriously up the ante. Not only did they want to set the record for the longest distance traveled in an hour while juggling a soccer ball, which was held at 5.46 kilometers, they also wanted to do it in the most extreme place on the planet, 
the Sahara Desert. Armed with a camera crew, plenty of water bottles, and a soccer ball, Farnworth set out to conquer the record in the blazing desert heat. Over the first few days, the howling Sahara winds proved to be a little too much to handle, but by the third day, the veteran record holder had adapted. In the end, he didn't just set the record, he demolished it. After beating the hour-long juggling record, Farnworth just kept going, never letting the ball hit the ground until he had freestyled for a total of 100 kilometers, or 62 miles across the desert sands. I'd like to see someone try to beat that record. Cliff Diving Cliff diving is a sport that's quickly come to produce both incredible viral clips and serious panic since it became popular. The sport originated in Hawaii, a state covered in landscapes perfect for this extreme activity. Originally, cliff diving was a ritualistic show of bravery among men in Hawaiian cultures. After all, it takes some serious guts to jump off of a cliff. Ever since then, adventurous adrenaline junkies have scoured the world for deep enough pools of water at the bottom of tall enough cliffs to try and bring the sport to new heights. Pun intended. In 2015, Brazilian Swiss extreme athlete Lasso Schaller did this exact thing, setting a world record for highest free cliff dive from a height of 192 feet into a relatively narrow pool below at Cascado del Salto in Switzerland. The fall lasted a total of four seconds, which probably felt like hours to lasso, with the athlete reaching speeds of 123 kilometers per hour. It's a good thing there was a safety crew waiting for him at the bottom too, because the rapid change in altitude did a number on his head, leaving him needing some time to recover that would have been far too long had he jumped alone. Thankfully, he managed to keep his composure for long enough to fall vertically, saving himself from some, let's say, unfortunate circumstances. Mantle of Bees now, I'm not sure about you, but I'm the type to stay as far away from bees as humanly possible. However, it seems like Ruan Liangming wasn't fortunate enough to have the same experience in life as I did, because the dude just isn't afraid of bees. Quite the contrary, Ruan set a world record for the heaviest covering of bees, also known as a beard of bees. During the filming of an Italian version of the Guinness World Records show, Ruan was covered in 63.7 kilograms worth of bees, or 637 thousand individual bees, including 60 queen bees to attract their individual colonies. When asked about his secret to this very weird form of success, Liang Ming claimed that remaining calm around bees is the key to not getting stung. Maybe I'll keep that in mind next time I feel like running the other way when I see a single bee at the park. 200 meter basketball shot Do you think you could make a shot from half court for a million dollars? Well, how about a shot from over 600 feet away from the hoop? Well, the team over at the How Ridiculous YouTube channel managed to do exactly that. The Extreme Sports channel is something of an Australian dude perfect, frequently performing unbelievable tactical feats of athleticism and precision for their audience of over 5 million subscribers. In 2018, the team headed out to Maletsunyane Falls in Lesotho, Africa to attempt to make a shot from the top of the falls into a hoop all the way at the bottom, 200 meters below. Well, at first it seemed like the gorgeous view had them a bit distracted, because they spent five full days throwing complete air balls. However, finally, on the fourth day, the elements seemed to align in their favor, and they managed to set the world record for highest basketball shot made. Maybe the view was just so good that they were missing on purpose. Deepest Dive Swimming can be a great way to cool off when it's hot out, but Russian diver Alexei Molchanov has a much more extreme relationship with water. Alexei has spent his life training to be able to hold his breath and resist huge oceanic pressures in order to earn his rank among the most famous divers in human history. In 2018, Alexei took the diving world by storm when he set a world record for deepest self-propelled free dive of all time, meaning he dove with no equipment on a single breath to go 130 30 meters down and all the way back up again. To pull this incredible feat off, the Russian national had to hold his breath for a total of four minutes and dove unassisted to a depth so far down that certain wavelengths of light can't reach, meaning he had to carry a light on his head to see where he's going. If you thought jumping into the deep end of the pool was extreme, Alexei Molchanov might have a few words for you. Appalachian Trail 
Marathon running is so last century. It's all about ultra marathons these days, and Carl Meltzer is a record setter among the elite who can take on these incredible tests of endurance. At the ripe age of 48, Meltzer set an incredible ultra marathon record by conquering the Appalachian Trail on foot in a blisteringly fast 45 days, 22 hours, and 38 minutes. Oh, sorry, does that sound slow? I must have forgotten to mention that the Appalachian Trail is 14 US states long and that to do this, Carl had to run 77 kilometers a day for 46 days. That's two marathons a day for a month and a half, people. Throughout the long distance track, Meltzer burned almost 350,000 calories and took over 4.2 million steps, truly showing how far a motivated human body can go. Longest Breath Hold the average person can survive for one to five minutes without oxygen. Trained professionals and experienced divers, nine minutes. Our bodies need oxygen to function. It's pretty hard to get around that fact. However, Spanish freediver Alex Segura wanted to see how far he could push the limits of the human body by trying to set the world record for longest breath hold in the world. In 2016, the Spanish diver managed to hold his breath for a total of 24 minutes and 3 seconds in front of a panel from the Guinness Book of World Records. He manages to do this through a special technique he developed called static apnea, meaning he was able to stop his body from breathing entirely for that time. To do this, however, Alex first needed to breathe in a pure oxygen environment to get his body ready. But don't worry, that's not against the rules. This guy really gives a whole new meaning to take your breath away. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too. So which world record did you think was the most insane? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.